evening. All right, general energies today. General energies, general energies. All right. What does everyone who is watching need to hear today? The collective for everyone who's watching. Responsibility. Do what feels right for you above all else. It's impossible to please all parties in the present situation. You have responsibility only for your own life and actions. Others must take responsibility for themselves. So, um, I do have a talk about boundaries if you guys want to watch that. But you are not responsible for other people's feelings or other people's reactions or anything. It is up to you to only take care of yourself and make sure that you are happy. And everyone else can fall into place. If everyone were to do that, then... I mean, I'm not talking about selfishness. I'm just talking about um, tending to your own needs in a loving way and following your intuition, speaking your truth, being in your truth and all of that um, helps those around you, kind of inspires those around you to also do the same thing. But some people will act like victims of the things that you say or that you do and you are not responsible for them they can be grown up enough to take a look at how they're feeling and why they're feeling it and do some self-reflection and come with come up with a better attitude. It is not your job to help them feel better, is what I'm saying. Okay. So I feel like there's another one of Mary Magdalene for the collective general today. Thank you for the general collective that are watching these. General collective. Crucifixion. You're causing yourself much unnecessary suffering by thinking that you need to improve in some way before you can find peace and fulfillment. For much of your life, you've tried to hide the parts of you that don't think you're lovable, yet the things you, you repress or hide resurface through external situations until you learn to accept and love them. A world of infinite possibilities awaits you if you can just learn to be yourself and love yourself as you are. Inside you, there is a shining star. Allow the light of your star to shine forth and you will find the people who will love you just as you are. Over the coming weeks, pay close attention to your thoughts. When you find yourself thinking negatively or fearfully, consciously transform that thought into a loving one and continue doing this until the cycle is broken. This will take time, dedication, and perseverance, but the rewards will eventually be great. So not only are you not responsible for others, but you are totally responsible for yourself. <laughs> so... You know, don't tell them go mind their own business if you can't mind your own business. <laughs> this right here, that's like about codependent energy. That's like expecting this person to make you feel better. This person is expecting that person to make them feel better. Each person just needs to make themselves feel better and not cut themselves or not give themselves a hard time about the decisions that they need to make and, and how it affects other people. Just make, if you're feeling intuitively guide, guided to something and your heart is pulling you to that or like any kind of decision, it could be having to do with work or love or whatever it is that's best for you. Don't make your decision based on anybody else, nobody. And you are the one who can either suffer or flourish and do really well with the information that you have and what you're going to be doing. So empower yourself with looking at it in a positive light. Let this person take care of themselves. You take care of yourself and just keep your thoughts positive about whatever it is you're doing. If you need to do that, 10, um, you know, things I, uh, uh, can't I think of the name? Thank you God for my misery. If you need to do that, do that so that you can see it in the right light. 
some people also some some like this person sometimes can like play you because they know you'll feel guilty so um i know a feminine who was being treated very poorly by her masculine he well not her masculine some this actually i think it was a karmic or something but they were living together and he was being really rotten to her and he was really totally taking advantage of her and stuff and then she finally got up the nerve um to make him leave to make him move out and he called and because she's such a sweet person she's such a sweetheart he said you're the devil you need to you need to go to church because you're like a bad person <laughs> and she felt bad and i was like you know you're not a good person you're like a total sweetheart so why would you let him play you like that people they learn how to push your buttons and what makes you sensitive and they play you don't let that happen to you <laughs> okay so enough about that let's get to these couples <clears throat> all right energy for him again okay masculines let's see what you need today what do the masculines need to hear today please what do the masculines need to hear today whoosh okay love listen to your heart embrace what makes you happy <laughs> Oh my gosh, there are one million reasons to love. Wow, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, so listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to nobody else. You're not responsible. Oh my gosh, you guys. <clears throat> okay, feminines. The unicorns. Okay, feminines, get the unicorns today, girls or guys. The feminine and masculine is not about gender. It's about who runs from the connection <laughs> and who embraces it. Here we go. Strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. So, okay, that's alluding to my exercise again. <laughs> Thank you, God, that this isn't going right. Thank you, God, that that's not going right. Thank you, God, that this is happening because it'll help you to see a way out. It'll help you to see, like, when I had my podcast at a certain point, my producer jumped ship. <laughs> and I was like, what am I going to do? And then I thought, well, I'll just do my list, you know. What are the advantages and benefits as to why that's a good thing that my producer left me high and dry, even though I didn't know how to do anything on my own. And sure enough, when I made that list, I really, I had all these awesome epiphanies that made me feel so excited and empowered because I went, Oh my gosh, wait a minute. This is my opportunity to like reinvent myself and reinvent the show and just make it whatever I want to. And then I got all this incredible positive feedback as to how it was so much better of a podcast after that and how he was kind of like in the way. They, they didn't like him as much as they liked me. So that was an awesome experience, but I wouldn't, I, I almost quit if I wouldn't have made that list, you guys. I almost quit. So, all right, um, they're saying to get for the union energy, they want me to get a crystal oracle. Oh, and a, and a, like one of these hard messages. Okay. So we'll do the crystal. Union energy between these two, please. What they both need to hear right now. Amethyst. Amethyst. Let me look it up and I'll show it to you. Okay. Okay, you have an addictive personality. <laughs> Make a concerted effort to overcome such behavior or obsession of any kind and avoid overindulgence. Balance work and play. You're prone to excess in both, excess in both, excess in both. Understanding hidden causes of compulsive actions brings peace. Hand your work over to your soul and allow your spirituality to unfold. Release self-defeating programs. Do not rely on others. You create anything you set your mind to. Be shrewd in business dealings. Pay attention to your family. 
an honest verdict and success in a court case are possible. Maintain your integri integrity and let the universe decide. Let go of cravings. Okay, guys. <laughs> Maybe wear an amethyst. Maybe keep an amethyst near you. Okay, so they said to pick one of these two for you guys today as part of union energy. All right. Life is a series of constant shifting cycles. When you resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. So go with the flow. You will be surprised where this leads. Yay. All right. So... Be strong. Don't listen to anybody else. Listen to your heart. Um, this is also a protective stone. And if you're feeling weak, feminines, then definitely like do something to protect your energy. I have light language blessings on my website now that you can purchase. And you can listen to it over and over and over and over. And, um, and help, and help like reinforce a protective field around you. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful day. Hey, if you like my videos, please share, subscribe, and set your bell notifications on so you'll know the moment they come out. Also, don't forget that you can go to my website and order a personal reading at amysatori.com forward slash services. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.